Hey everyone, got a post bag video for you today. Got lots of items to go through. Usual format, I will tell you what the items are, what I'm going to be using them for, and I will put links to them in the description below where you can get them from AliExpress. But stay tuned to the end of this video because it's going to be a very special one because I have got a giveaway. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's clear the board and we'll go through them. Bag within a bag. This is to protect some battery holders and a barcode. These are two types of battery holders. Let's have a look. Yes, I've got two types of coin cell battery holder for CR2032s. Got the classic uh, round version and this split round version. This is an SMD pad and this is a through hole. See that? Going to be for some uh, low power badge style projects. Very tiny. Uh, took 14 days to get here and it is other electronic components. Very descriptive. Very well wrapped. Ah, this is a tiny 65k TFT display. One sec. Yes, this is a very, very tiny TFT display. 0 0.9680 by 160 TFT. Very cool, very tiny. Use that on some embedded project. Three, if it's not broken. It comes with header pins. Big box. This has got my address on it, so I am pointing it downwards. This is a control box. Emergency stop. What is this? Ah, yes. This is an emergency stop button. See if I can set it up quickly. So this goes in here. This all screws down into here. And it is a emergency stop button. You can have it as normally open and normally closed. Um, I was going to use this as, I, got, I think I got the idea of the D-Auth ESP8266, uh, where you can hit this and it will de-auth everything as a bit of a Nas pretty nasty prank. Um, I probably won't use it for that now. Might use it for a CNC or a laser project or something. What does this say? This one is card reader. And it is a card reader. It is a tiny micro SD reader. This was dirt cheap. I think this was like less than a pound. It is USB and it is USB on the go. You can plug in a micro SD and an SD card. Very handy, stick it in my kit bag and just have it always there. Always need to plug in an SD or a micro SD. And you can also plug it into Android phones that have a on the go adapter. This is gift. And it is a dial indicator, yes. So this is a precision, maybe, dial indicator. Uh, I want you to test some bed leveling and get some more precision measurements. So one of the things that a lot of people use to measure their bed deflection on a 3D printer is a dial indicator. Come on. Uh, basically what this does is it pushes down and it is very accurate at measuring tiny, tiny measurements. These are all fractions of a millimeter, so it's very accurate. Um, we will see how accurate it is when I use it. All the electronical components. 12 days to get from China to the UK. And we have 
Uh -huh, this is a Bluetooth module. Cannot remember why I bought this. I think this was extra for a Bluetooth HID module, I suspect. I can't remember now. And this is oh, it's an accelerometer uh, module. And it was upside down. See it there. ITG MPU, basically accelerometer, so you can measure the XYZ movement of some kind of embedded device. Modules. This is a module. This is, looks like some kind of audio module. Ah, oh, yes, this is an I, let's get this right, I2S. This is a PCM5102A. It's basically an audio board and it runs off the I2S protocol, I believe. And it's for embedded controllers that don't have any audio uh, on board. Good example is the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero, if you want audio out of that device, um, you can hook one of these up and it will go via the I2S protocol into the chip and it will come out of this headphone jack. Uh, or you can also hook up, I believe, it to an amplifier. You've also, yeah, you've also got your left and your right out. Uh, so if you want to increase the signal. These are connectors. These are USB connectors. Standard mail. Let's get one out. USB mail has prongs that can go into the circuit board. It's got the VCC ground and two data lines. Uh, I think I was going to use this for a little project I was going to make uh, for a thin PCB that would plug into a uh, like a power bank, one of those uh, pound power banks. We shall see. This is USB socket connectors. I believe I bought two sets of these. Don't need that. Don't need that. Yes, these are also USB mail connectors. Got it from two different suppliers. See what they were like. These are slightly different. See if I can show you the difference. Come on. So these are the original ones and they are very flush, um, flush with the pins, which are a bit bent. Uh, but these ones are kind of low profile. You can see the difference, the same kind of connector for the PCB, but they sit lower on the PCB. Don't know if you can see how the pins sit lower there. So if you need a USB that sits lower on your board, these would be quite cool to use. Can experiment with those. 30 days, I believe. Connector. Everything's a connector. These are connectors, my goodness, these are mini USB. Again, these are, I think were for circuit boards. There's one loose here. Little PCBs that I was going to design. Want you some mini USBs? These are incredibly tiny. Wow. I believe I've got a bunch of these on the way, all different types. Really wasn't sure which ones to get, so I've got a bunch of different ones just to try. So that is one pack. Expansion board module. These are, okay. So these are, wow, even more USBs. My God, how many did I order? So these are, Micro USB, 
which is the old style chunkier version. I actually prefer these, they're a lot solid. You get these on the Arduino Nanos, uh, but I really like them. They're very solid and solid connection. Again, I'm just gonna use them for projects where I'd like to use a thicker connection. I think I've got two sets, two sets of those. And this is a tiny, tiny PCB ruler on a key ring, which is cool. Uh, it gives you various um, measurements. You've got the mils, you've got inch, you've got millimeters, you've got some drill sizes, you've got some pad sizes, SOC 23, SOC 89, and some angles, which is quite handy. And it comes on a key ring. So you can be the coolest guy on the block swinging your PCB keychain. Very cool. And this is a little hint as to what is coming up at the end of the video. Module. Everything is a module. Whoa, that was careful. <laughs> okay, this is a OLED screen. But it is a raw OLED screen. It does not come with the usual blue PCB and all the resistors and capacitors. This is the raw screen. So it's the OLED, the driving circuitry and the connectors. This is going to be for a project. Uh, it's a very, very tiny um, weather um, OLED display using an ESP01 module. Um, very tiny, it's connected directly to the PCB, which has all the other components on. Uh, and I just wanted to get one to try it, and see if this works. Wow, that is tiny and fragile. I will not throw that. I know what this is from looking at it. It's a gift. It's a plate. It is not a plate. It is a, it's a baby, yes. Tiny cutting mat. I was actually going to use this as a mouse pad. It's a A5 cutting mat and it fits beautifully and it smells good. Wow. Oh yeah, it smells very new. Um, just wanted a smaller one. I was actually going to use it as a mouse mat and a really small cutting mat. Can't have too many cutting mats, right? David Watts. Um, what else have we got? Sound card. Ooh. Yeah, this was recommended from David, uh, not David Watts, uh, Brian Locke. Uh, he wanted a, this is another way of getting audio onto a embedded uh, computer that doesn't have any audio, such as a Raspberry Pi Zero. And it is a USB sound card. Ignore the 3D, because that makes no sense. Um, but it's a USB sound card and it has mic in and headphone socket out, plug it into your Raspberry Pi or your computer even, and you've got a little sound card. Cheap as chips. Um, I'm just gonna play with this. Brian had one. He said they're okay if you just wanted a quick and dirty audio. 50 pieces, six by six by 5.5, four pin SMD switches. I have no idea what this could be. I'll take a guess. Aha, they are 6x6x5.5 six six four pin SMD switches. Don't need to explain what they are. Usually get through holes for these, but these are SMD, so they go straight onto the PCB. Um, just wanted that for the parts drawer. What's in here? What have we got? Expansion board, expansion board, expansion board. Engineer ruler, engineer ruler. This will be exciting. Aha, uh -huh. nothing in there. Okay, two more rulers. Let's get to them last. What is this? And this is a, looks like an audio, looks like an audio board. Okay, this is a SI470X. It's actually a FM receiver board. So it's like a radio board. Um, but compared to the other cheap ones that you can see on Ali, this is actually a FM receiver with RDS, which is a uh, radio data service. Uh, and this gives you things like the, um, the radio station name and the song 
listing and whatever additional stuff that they can send down the FM data. Uh, if your car stereo has it and it shows you who's playing and it's not a dab, it's basically what RDS is. This is a little soldering kit from IC Station. It is a 555 uh, tone generator, I believe, or a frequency generator. Just a little soldering kit, through hole kit to set up. Just something to play with. This is some bubble wrap. And this is, ah. This is a uh, laser module. Um, it is a straight line laser module. Um, you power it up uh, and it's got this diffraction grid. So actually the laser that comes out is a solid line. This is what you see on your uh, laser uh, leveling tools, things that you do your decorating with. Um, it's very heavy, it's a very solid unit. But I wanted to make my own, some kind of leveling device. Um, yeah, very cool. What does it take? Very well wrapped. I suspect it's five or 12 volts. Void exposure. Laser radiation is emitted from the aperture. Five milliwatt. Doesn't say, I think it's 12 volts. We shall find out. That would be cool. And these two are two more PCB rulers. Very long one, all from a DIY more, which I think was recently taken over by Alice. Um, the eBay lady. Um, this has got usual various uh, packages, sizes and pitch uh, footprints. It's got a angle similar to that one. You can tell how they've used the repurposed all these footprints. Various footprints. Um, that tells you the stacking of layers. It's got some common width um, traces and some pitch. 2.54 this is how you can measure all things very cool this is very similar again a bit of a fatter one it's got a big angle and it's got some mill holes you can see through that and again some pitch some mill sizes footprints and various footprints got some ICs sock footprints resistors LEDs the usual yeah, these are very cool very handy uh, Handy for rulers, handy for reference. I like them. I kind of got a few of them now. And wait till the end of the video. This is 10 pieces, five color pin, one piece lily pad buzzer. Very descriptive. And it is some header pins of different colors. I was getting very bored of the black ones. These are available, all different colors. I thought it'd be quite cool to have some color coded projects. And this, as the item said, was a lily pad buzzer. It is a buzzer, a tiny little buzzer, and it's for the lily pad. So it's like for sewable projects, alligator clips. Cool little part draw thing just to play with. Next up, this has got my name on it, so I will keep it this way. Oop. All sorts in here. Got some three AA battery holders. This is just for projects. David Watts is very fond of AA batteries. Nice safe, safe solution for batteries. And the three give you about 4.5 volts, which is quite a good voltage to work from. Just needed them. Just for any projects that I might do. I don't want to use a LiPo. These are cool. These are two tiny vibration motors. This is what you would get in mobile phones. So you hook up uh, power to it and it there's an offset motor and it vibrates basically. I wanted to put this into some kind of project to have some tactile feedback, like a handheld project. So you've just got some vibration feedback. Two of those, very cool, very tiny. These are SD readers. So it's got some, uh, you've got power regulator, resistors for the pins, uh, and you just put an SD card in, essentially. It's two of these. 
SDs look absolutely huge when you're used to micro SDs. Actually seeing an SD card slot, it's huge. No idea what they're for yet. Who knows, part draw. I had some idea. And this is a four digit LED display. Um, and this is a white version. I've actually got a few of these, I'll have to dig all these out. This is the white version. Um, it's a clock and decimal point. You can use this, hook it up. It's got the uh, LED driver board on there, connect via um, clock and data. And you can drive all the LEDs, make this into a clock, into a counter, um, and it's white, which is very cool. They've got all the colors. I've got them somewhere. I don't think they're in this pile, but that one is white. So look, these are noisy. Thanks to Brian Locke. These are some tiny little project boxes, which I find incredibly hard to open. They're very small. It's a big struggle to get a Wiimoth in here, but you can. Um, yeah, just handy little project box. Very tiny, black, very solid plastic. Module, surprise, surprise. What do we got here, you got all sorts. Okay, all right, so we have got two battery displays. Uh, so one is, says three, one says four. So this is for a 3S and a 4S lithium um, charging, uh, not charging, just to see the power of a 3S and a 4S battery. Um, obviously be fully lit when you've got full voltage and it will slowly deplete. So one's for 4S, one's for 3S. So you can see it's between 13.2 and 16.8 and 11.1 .1 and 12.6. So I believe it's just like a voltage divider that lights up the various LEDs. If you wanted to play with these, it'd be handy to put in some kind of project where I've got uh, a 3S battery pack and a 4S. Uh, pretty much the common types. And I believe they also did a two and possibly a one as well. Mm. This is a LAN card. This is, I believe it's a W, let me check. This is a WS550 Ethernet card for Arduinos and various. Um, I got this actually to work with my uh, Octoprint library. Um, currently it runs off Wi-Fi cards like the ESP826 and the ESP32. I've been asked by a few people about having a non-Wi-Fi solution where Wi-Fi isn't possible, but like industrial areas where they can have a um, Octoprint monitor running Arduino, but via Ethernet. So give that a go, give it a play. Very cool. This tiny little thing, well, let's get this out. I'm just seeing some headers. This is tiny. What is it? Is a TEMT6000. This is a light meter. Very tiny lux light meter. So you power this up and it is supposed to give you, by the signal pin, a value of the light that it can see. It's pretty much what you get in your mobile phones um, when it can detect if it's dark or light, dark or light. Gosh, that's tiny. I was going to put this in some tank, some kind of weather monitor or some kind of environmental sensor. Wow, that is tiny. And these are some LEDs. Oh, 0603, they're very small. Which ones are these? All ah, right, yes. Okay, so this was to finish um, Dave Darko's um, Night Rider badge. I got a bunch of them done from Oshpark. And Oshpark is famous for doing their purple PCBs and to keep in fitting with the purple instead of having red Knight Rider lights that go along the dash I thought I'd get some pink or purple ones uh, so those are supposed to be pink which I believe are just white that are dyed or have a filter really, those are supposed to be that is ultraviolet um, so I wanted to try both see what they both look like there's 50 in these very cool, very handy. And the last one, 
it is sensor. Last one. Okay, oh, lots in here. Don't need to see what they are. ESP01 boards. Can't have too many of those. This looks like a soldering kit. This is the egg timer kit. Call it the instructions. But this is basically a soldering kit. Lots of through hole components. Uh, and it is an egg timer, as far as I believe. Putting all the LEDs, the LED driver. You set it off and the LEDs will slowly go from one side to the other. Cool little project just to sit and solder one lazy Sunday. This is, this is a various diodes. Don't have any diodes, not used them yet. Uh, this is just a various selection pack of different through hole diodes and the Zender ones as well. Handy for the parts drawer. These are three mil three millimetre LEDs. Clear. Various colours. You've got green, blue, clear, yellow, red. Uh, and they are the clear type. Um, the reason I got these was for the blue three millimetre LEDs. Uh, I've actually got a Nixie tube clock and it had blue LED backlight to it. But they look like the LEDs have slowly gone on it so I wanted to fix my Nixie clock and you can't have too many LEDs right these are the same but these are five mil clear LEDs various colors again you can't have too many of those look like the little straw hat versions which are like the stumpy versions I always quite like the look of them ESP8266 12 F's, I believe. Two of those. Can't have too many of those. That's going to be for some kind of embedded project where we we'll actually want to use it. This, these are, uh -huh, these are reed switches. Uh, these are special ones. Yes. So these are reed switches. Magnetic reed switches when you put a magnet close to them. Normally get op normally open or normally closed, but these ones have two pins so you can choose which one they are so you need to work out when you've got your magnet which one is normally open which one is normally closed and then you will snip one off so these are multi-purpose very cool i think i got these ages ago from when i saw um, brian Locke do his uh, treasure chest i thought that was cool i think i was going to make a light as well where you would put a a magnet near a lamp and it would turn on that's empty this is another kit what is this this looks like a flowing water led kit just a soldering kit nothing special got a microchip on it uh, variable resistor i suspect it is a flowing water kit again just another kit to play with and solder up now that is everything from the post bags now let's get on with the extra giveaway okay if you've made it this far well done it is now giveaway time so you saw the hints in the video about the rulers and these are them i've actually got four rulers um and i'm going to be giving away one of them each time i do a post bag so this time it is this little mini one. Um, it's really cool. I always use this one at work uh, and you can win this if you are lucky. At the time of recording this, which is the 5th of March, 2019, I am almost at 900 subscribers, which doesn't sound a lot because it's uh, not a lot, uh, but it's a lot for me and I'd like to get up to a thousand subscribers. So either uh, I get to a thousand subscribers or we get to the end of March, whichever comes first. I suspect the end of March will probably come first. And all you have to do is uh, subscribe to my channel and comment on this video below, any comment you like, uh, and I will randomly pick a user who will win this ruler. This is a black uh, DIY more PCB ruler and they have a very amusing one PCB to ruler them all. Very handy one, it's got all the footprints, 
of all the ICs and all the components. And it's also got an AWG um, wire jig and some trace widths. It's very handy. Uh, what I will do, whoever is the lucky winner, I will basically drop ship this from AliExpress. So I'll get in contact with you. All you need to do is provide me with your uh, postal address. And as long as AliExpress ship to your address, which they probably should do, there's a few places where they won't ship, uh, but hopefully it won't be you. I will get it shipped out to you uh, in true China fashion. It'll probably take a month, um, but you will get this PCB for free. So what are you waiting for? If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and then comment. And if you've already subscribed, then comment. Um, I'll pick a comment from random from the comments below and I will pick out the winner. I will update everyone with the results and who the winner is on a future postbag video. Who wins the ruler? It probably will be a postbag video because that's all I seem to do. And if it is a postbag video, well then we've got three more rulers to give away. So I will choose one of these to give to another lucky commenter and subscriber. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Cheers guys.